I want to share a story with you. Um, I was going to talk about something that uh, happened the other night. Portia and I went out to dinner. <laughs> we ate food. Um, I'm not going to say which restaurant, so I'll say the initials TGI Fridays. <laughs> Now, now, I made a reservation at a very, very nice restaurant because Portia was paying. And <laughs> I noticed something strange is happening at restaurants. When we sat down, the waiter walks over and said, have you dined with, uh, with us before? First of all, why do they need to know? <laughs> Second of all, seriously, why do they need to know? <laughs> Does it look like we've never eaten in a restaurant before? <laughs> we're not animals. I mean, although I should point out that we were both wearing our raccoon disguises. <laughs> You may ask, why were you wearing raccoon disguises? Yeah, well, there's a good reason. Our lemur disguises were in the wash. <laughs> why were we wearing the lemur disguises, you may ask. Yeah, because our, we got spaghetti uh, sauce on the polar bear disguises. <laughs> why polar bear disguises? Yeah, I knew you would. Paparazzi, let's move on. <laughs> you got to be clever in this town. Seriously, why do restaurants that I, you know, why do they need to know if I've eaten there? Why, I mean, it, it's not like I go to the post office and they ask, have you mailed with us before? <laughs> yes, thanks for asking. You've handled my package many, many times. <laughs> then it got even stranger. Then the waiter said, let me explain how the menu works. This is definitely a new thing. <laughs> no one ever had to explain a menu before. What has changed? Can I still eat the soup with a spoon? Do I use a straw? <laughs> Do they cook the food and give me just a basket of ingredients and a hot plate? <laughs> Here's how I expect the menu to work. You list the food. It's on the piece of paper there. Then I pick out what I want, and then you carry it to me. <laughs> if that's not how your menu works, you're doing it wrong. That's what I And the, they, here's what they, they never have to explain how the bill works. They just, they just sit it down and run away as fast as they can. <laughs> Also, a lot of new restaurants have small plates. Have you noticed this? Apparently, the normal size plates are gone. And they're proud of it, too. They call it tapas. <laughs> Interesting. Tapas is a Spanish word that means still hungry. <laughs> still. Oh, another small one? Still hungry. <laughs> By the way, it seems like smaller plates, they, they're, they're small, but they're more expensive. I don't know how that works out. We went to this exclusive Beverly Hills restaurant, and uh, it was like, I don't know, I'm going to say $48 for a thimble with a raisin in it. <laughs> I don't want to complain. The raisin was delicious. It really was. <laughs> but I think restaurants should stick to the bases. They, they have regular plates, friendly service, endless breadsticks. That's what I say. That's all.